something. But I'm telling you, ladies, look, lock those panties up. Lock them up. Okay, young ladies, I'm just going to get right into it. I really need for you young ladies today to hear what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. What I'm about to say, I'm not trying to offend or put down. It's purely from a position of a father to you young women. I have two daughters, okay? I have one that's 28 and one that's 34. And same advice I gave them. They didn't always listen to my advice, but I have to tell you, I hear a lot of, just a lot of disrespect and a lot of vitriol from men against women with children, against women, period, okay? So I want to warn you guys. I want to warn you guys, and this is my warning. Keep your panties up. I know I hear a lot of young people say that's impossible. People are going to have sex. It's nothing wrong with sex. No, it is not nothing wrong with sex. God created sex, but he created sex between uh, married couples. And before someone gets the bright idea to say, well, did you wait? No, I didn't because I was ignorant. I didn't have the instruction that I'm giving you. And I paid dearly. My wife and I paid dearly for the consequences of having sex outside of marriage. My wife became a single mom. I just happened to find value in her. And I just aimlessly floated around messing with multiple women. I wasn't a player, but that doesn't make it any better. Let me tell you, a lot of these young men talk about women with body counts, but they'll sit up here and they will sleep with you. They would have their fun with you. They would have more than one woman on the side. I've seen it. I've seen it amongst older men. I've seen it amongst younger men. And the same guys, when I chime in on their conversations, are the same ones talking about, Man, you don't know these modern women. These modern women are trash. Dating these girls is trash. But yet, a lot of them don't see the behavior that, that they are exhibiting or contributing to this hookup culture is toxic. Again, I don't promote single being a single parent. I think that's the, the greatest tragedy that has ever happened in the black community because a lot of women that are single mothers fall into poverty. You know, I know there are the exceptional unicorns that somehow uh, improve their situations, or maybe they marry an honorable man and then they live happily ever after. But let's be real here. That's not the plight of every single mom. And the way some of these guys talk, they talk as if these women are these witches waiting in the corner to entrap some guy and ensnare them. Now, maybe some women are like that. I don't know. But I know that my wife wasn't like that. Some women that happen to have children that I know aren't like that. Some Maybe some of them did make mistakes. But I would say the mistake is having a child with someone that you are not married to. And I will have to agree with the talking point you need to marry before you carry. But I want you to hear some of the things that these guys say about women with children. I'm sure you heard a lot, but I just want to read this. And I want this to stick in your brain. So the next time, uh, if you don't have children, if you do have children, look, walk with some dignity. Don't walk in desperation. Take care of your children. Um, don't listen to some guy saying that you're trash. If you owned up to the mistakes you've made and you're living with dignity, keep doing that. If some guy don't want to be with you because you don't that because you have a child, don't be upset with the child. Don't be upset with your life. Just hang on to God's hand and 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 just improve your situation. You know because this this is a reality that we're living in today. This is a reality that we're living in today. So let me see if I could pull this up on my screen. I don't know if you can see this, but um, let me go back to my original comment in a video, okay? Now, this was in response to uh, a video that I made a comment on. You know, I just wanted to chime in on it. I, I wasn't there to point fingers at the guys because I do understand that there's some guys that do not want to deal with single mothers. But since I married a woman with children— and hear some guys talk about these women as if they're the worst thing on earth, you know, because we've all done some dirt. I just wanted to chime in and, and give a testimony of my wife and myself. So I said, I, I respect your opinion, but I don't fully agree. 
yes, it can be risky, and I don't deny that. Uh, that said, I married a woman with two children, and we've been happily married for 28 years. And by the way, my wife and I are celebrating 28 years of marriage today. I've been married to this woman for 28 years, okay? And uh, over the years, I've heard this argument many times, and while uh, it used to bother me, it doesn't anymore. I have a wonderful family, a beautiful wife, four children, three grandchildren. Life is great. I believe everyone's situation is different, and each their own. By the way, uh, when I met my wife, I didn't have any children of my own. Now, when I met my wife, I had no children and I knew that. I did it. You know, I even though I messed with different women, I, I, I never fathered children out of wedlock, but I married a woman that had children because I found value in her. Now, I know that not every woman that has children is, has great character, but I also met a lot of women without children that are just rotten to the core. And 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 a lot of these guys, the same guys talking about these single mothers, are the same ones uh, that talk about these women that, that have given them a hard time. Now, here's some responses here. I'm glad it worked out, but this is not the case for most men. And that is true. Honestly, I got I to gotta say that's true. Honestly, any man who has no kids settled for a woman with kids He's simped out. Basically, there he's insulting me, saying that, man, um, you just did a foolish thing for women. Because being a simp is someone that does just uh, foolish acts for a woman without any regards to his self. And that's not what I did. But this is the talking point of today. You, you did, too, honestly, because out of all the women to choose from, you chose a woman with a couple of kids? That sounds like settling to me, but I'm glad it worked out for you, though. Okay, I didn't settle, man. I wasn't desperate or any of that, all right? I didn't settle. My wife was a woman of class that happened to have had two children. Now, I don't know anything about other women with children and stuff like that, but I know about my wife. Now, like I said in some of my other videos, I was married before my wife. I was married to a woman that didn't have children. That woman did not want to be faithful. Right. And I wasn't going to put up with that. I wasn't going to live in a marriage filled with lies and deceit and cheating because I grew up seeing that stuff. And I vowed to myself whenever I married a woman, I wasn't going to cheat on that woman. And I did not want a woman to cheat on me. I wasn't going to do that. I wasn't going to put my hands on my wife because I grew up seeing abuse and that's not something I was going to do. And that wasn't something I was going to tolerate either. And I don't think anybody, any man, any woman should tolerate behavior like that. So I married a woman with no children. <laughs> and she was worse than a woman supposedly that has children, right? I responded. This is what I said. I said, no, I didn't settle. I saw uh, her value and made a conscious decision to be with her. Actually, a simp is a man who compromises his well-being for a woman, but that wasn't my case. I was previously married to a woman without children, right? And it was a terrible experience. And I'm not saying every woman that don't have children is bad. That was just my experience, all right? Just like me having my wife that happens to have children and I haven't had the same issues that some of these guys talk about, my experience. But I'm telling you, ladies, because I'm giving you a warning so that whenever that smooth talking dude comes your way, especially if you don't have children, and if you do have children so that you won't get any more, so that you could be part of the talking points on the internets, don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Okay? And I'm at the when I'm done with my rant, I'm give you some instructions on what you need to look for in a man, okay? And, and and the number one thing I see a lot of these young ladies making the mistakes is they're looking at resources only. And you need to look at more than resources because yeah, there's a lot of people that can make money. Drug dealers make money. You know, having money and resources isn't all and all, okay? Where was I? Yeah, okay. Uh, I was previously married to a woman without children, and that was a terrible experience. In fact, many single women without children can be more difficult than those with them. My wife of 28 years, guys, 28 years, always honored me uh, as the head of the household. She has never disrespected me, put me down, or gone against my guidance. I never abused my wife, made a safe place for her, right? 
And that's more than a lot of men can say about women with children. Again, I'm not saying women without children are bad. I'm just answering according to a lot of the talking points I hear a lot of these young men and even some of the older men say about a lot of the women today. Okay, let me pull up some more. All right. Okay, so I, I can't find what this guy exactly said to me, but he really, really went in on me and insulted me, insulted my wife. And this is what I wrote back. Um, my wife is a woman of class and hard work, both when I met her and still today. I don't understand why some of you find it hard to believe that a single mother can be a good woman. While I get that some single women are out of control, you also lump single moms into the category unfairly. Now, look, I know that there's some women that keep making the dumbest decisions and um, some of them in desperation mode and all they can see is I got to find somebody to help me with these kids, right? I'm not talking to those women. I'm talking to you women that maybe you don't have children, maybe you have a couple of children and you, you're you looking down on your life and or... Uh, you got some guy just smooth talking you to death, talking about he wants to be with you and and stuff, even probably moved into your place. Hear me. Hear this warning. Kick that Negro out if you ain't married to him. And let me continue. All I know is that I have a great woman. We're living a great life. The difference is I didn't meet her in a club. My wife wasn't in a club. Now, did she go to a nightclub with some friends on some days? Yes, she did. But I didn't meet her in the club. When I met my wife, we didn't meet in the club at all. She wasn't that type of woman that was trying to get out there and live her best life with two children. No, no. She was she was serious about what she was doing because she understood her situation, all right? She wasn't out partying even with the two children. She never complained about the fathers either. She never, she never put them down other than the frustration expressed when the Negro didn't want to pay child support, but she never bad mouth and I told her, I said, don't put them children don't put the father down in front of them children now. Let them find out for themselves. And she listened to me and, and that's how we rolled in the house, okay? I'll say this. I use some of the same talking points you all bring up to teach my daughters not to become single mothers. I do. Okay. That's because guys who think like you often have multiple women on the side. You may feel like it's fine since you're using protection, but you're still leaving behind broken hearts and unfulfilled promises to women who thought they were in something exclusive. Look, ladies, I'm going to tell you right now, it's been the same in my grandfather's time, my father's time, my time. If a man wants to wife you up, if he sees value in you, he's going to do everything he can to get you. He is not going to have you jumping through hoops like you some type of circus animal or seal or chimpanzee. He's not going to do that. Now, what he is going to do, uh, he's going to look at your character, and if he doesn't see value in you, a real man, I'm talking about a real man, he'll leave you alone, okay? But a scoundrel, what he's going to do is he's going to see what he can get out of you, right? That's why uh, these guys will sleep with the woman, have children with the woman, and this woman foolishly will give this dude children. Then this guy all of a sudden decides that he wants something else. I mean, look at Cam Newton. The dude has three, three baby mamas, eight children, right? The first woman, I'm not going to lie. After the second child, I blame her for her foolishness because this man hadn't put a ring on your finger and you had five children by him. Look, ladies, look, I'm not trying to piss you off. You know, but I got to tell you the truth from a fatherly point of view. If this man is serious about you, he's going to wife you up. Now, I know you young people roll differently. You know, even when I was younger, I had sex outside of marriage and it's not good. It's not God's best, but I know that's what's happening. So I'm not going to hide my head and say, but I'm telling you, ladies, look, lock those panties up, lock them up. If you got a dude living with you who's not your husband, Kick that Negro out. If you're living with a guy and you're not married to him, get out. Go back to your parents' house. If you can't go back to them, go back to family. If you can't go back to any family, get your own spot. Stand up on your own. I'm not telling you to be a boss chick or anything like that. I don't believe in that. 
I believe in a woman being a feminine woman. Look, these same men that are asleep with you and have children with you, or maybe they're asleep with you and mess with multiple women, are the same men that are talked about these single moms, talking about these women with body counts. And you think that this guy ain't going to do that to you because y'all in something supposedly exclusive, but when he moves on, he moves on. That's why you can have a lot of dudes doing what they do. And a lot of guys say, well, most black men don't have kids. And the stat shows that a lot of black men do not have children. They don't. A lot of women don't have children. But the black community has more single-parent homes that's ran by women than any other ethnicity. And I'm telling you, ladies, I'm telling you right now, a lot of these guys think they're morally upstanding because maybe they put on a raincoat, but they still sleep around with multiple women, multiple women. They may not father children by them, right, because they don't want to be in the situation, and they call that being smart and being intelligent. That's being smart in a worldly point of view of not wanting to catch a disease, but that's being ignorant and sinful and wicked from God's perspective. And I'm telling you, young ladies, stop participating in that culture. Listen to what I am saying. Young men, if you hear this post, look, carry yourself as an honorable man. All right. I know you guys may not listen to my talking points about having sex outside of marriage. I pray that you do, because that sex outside of marriage harms you more than you think. Okay, you may not get a disease, but what about your spirit? What about your soul? What about what you're presenting before God, especially those that say they're Christians? Because I'm not stupid enough to think that Christians out there are not participating in hookup culture, guys. Okay. I, I haven't fed off the turnip truck. I mean, people been doing that even in my grandfather's time, being ministers, preaching up in the pulpit, still screwing around with women. I'm just saying, look, stop that. Young ladies, if you want a man to respect you, you're going to have to walk with respect. You're going to have to put up with the guy saying, well, she thinks she's uppity. She's picky and choosy. I just did a video on a young lady. Now, this young lady was overly ambitious, but this young lady from the age of 12, and uh, you can see that video right up there, that little card. If you want to click on it and watch it, go ahead. But from the age of 12, man, this young lady mapped out a vision of her life because she didn't want to live in a current situation she was in, which was her mom was a single mom, And she was sharing a bunk bed with her brother and an upper bunk with her older brother and his and his wife. And she said, I ain't going to be like that. And she has some requirements. I'm not going to settle for a man that's any less than what I am. Now, I may not agree with her in totality on that because I know that that could lead to other things. But still, she held herself. She talks about not participating in hookup culture during high school and in college. She was focused. She was serious. And I'm telling you, young ladies, look, maybe you don't need to go to her extreme, but you're going to have to be focused. You're going to have to be serious. Look, a lot of these dudes, they talk all this crap, talk all this crap to you, but then <laughs> they're, they're getting to your drawers, getting to your panties. Once they're done with you, you'll be just another one of them women they're going to talk about. And you don't want to be that woman. You may not have children right now. But if you get with a joker that makes a lot of promises but haven't put a ring on your finger and you end up having a child, and then he walks out, guess what? You're a baby mama. You're a single baby mama. You have just put yourself in a category of undesirable, uh, according to them. Same guy that knocked you up will be the same guy with the same talking points. Oh, single mothers are not valuable. They trash. They made a conscious decision. They should have kept their legs closed. They had to scourge the earth. But at the same time, they'll be juggling two or three women at the same time, sleeping with them. But I'm good, though. I'm just saying, heed my warning, young ladies. Heed my warning. And young men, you could take what I'm saying and flip it. You could say to yourself, I'm not going to be that dude that created a single mother. I'm not going to be a reason for this travesty in my community. And that's all I have to say. Like this video so that it can spread on the interwebs and share it with your other female friends. This is an important message. And if you really dig what I'm saying, subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next one.
Peace.